Grand Theft Auto 6 is finally here. And I can't believe I'm saying it because I thought it would never happen. At this rate, I thought I'd be like 70 by the time that GTA 6 would be announced, like officially. Now, there's something interesting in the GTA 6 trailer, and I haven't seen anybody talking about it yet. You know, the, the graphics look phenomenal from the trailer. Oh my god, the the sky and like just the landscape. Rockstar nailed it. Look at this, this is awesome. But there's just something in the back of my head that like, it almost seems like the people have been like Fortniteified, you know? <laughs> I don't know if it's like the lighting or if, if it's like something with the models, but something's just slightly, not quite, you know, uncanny valley, but just a little bit off. It's not that big a deal though. I mean, I know that Rockstar is gonna, you know, fix it. Like, I don't know. The, the people in the trailer, like, some more than others, but they look like they're just ripped straight out of Fortnite. Characters, at least right now, look a little janky. I just want to say, this dude, like, this dude in particular, he looks like he's in Fortnite. Like, like, he looks like he's ripped out of Fortnite and thrown into GTA 6. Yeah, th this guy, I don't know what it is. He just, he looks like he's taken straight out of Fortnite. Granted, I did just recently watch an interview with Ned Luke, the actor who plays Michael in Grand Theft Auto V. And he was saying that when they released the first trailer for Grand Theft Auto V, that he actually looked like Ronald Reagan, which I found really interesting. And, you know, at some point they tweaked the model and made it look, you know, a bit more accurate to Ned Luke uh, as Michael. But it's just interesting to see how, you know, even still there might be, you know, tweaks they make to models to make them, you know, to dial them in a little better. I know Rockstar's going to make the right call and, you know, make it look as realistic as they want or cartoonify it as much as they want to or whatever. No one's going to even notice it by the time the game comes out. I haven't seen anyone mention any of the potential that the Rockstar editor's going to have. Like, having director mode in Grand Theft Auto V was, like, game-changing. Like, people can make so many little clips and, you know, whatever they really want to do in the game. But, like, obviously that's going to be a feature in GTA 6. And it's gonna be mind blowing. Like, I almost think you won't even need mods. Like, you can just straight up just load into GTA 6 and, like, literally spawn whatever you want. It's probably, like, within copyright reason. But besides that, it's probably, like, you know. With the Rockstar editor, you could, like, make so many like custom maps or you can load in like you know all kinds of crazy vehicles and it's just gonna be crazy to see what the community comes up with another thing i've been thinking of is i wonder if they plan on releasing gta 6 on pc immediately or if they're gonna like cook it and like wait a while to finally release it Granted, no one, no one like Rockstar and Xbox and PlayStation and all of them, they're gonna like wait for GTA 6 to release and then basically a year later be like, oh, here comes the new console. I really hope that Rockstar decides to release GTA 6 on the PC at launch because if I have to buy a new console or like wait like a year or something to finally get it on PC, I'm gonna like flip bro because I know they did that with the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 oh my god sorry that I just realized that was like forever ago but when they first came out like that's exactly what Rockstar did and that's exactly what Xbox and PlayStation did was they waited for Grand Theft Auto to release on you know the previous consoles the 360 and the PlayStation 3 and then they just immediately like upgraded. I think technically Grand Theft Auto V maxed out the capability of the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. So they like, I mean, they didn't really have a choice. They had to go next gen like really soon. But I almost wonder if it's more strategic like 
you know, financially too, rather than just that the game uses like every possible aspect of the console, you know? Oh man, you know what a new GTA game means? Longer loading times waiting in that fucking screen where you're like in the clouds. I mean, NVMe drives exist nowadays, like solid state drives. Those ones have made it like super fast. And you know, that's why GTA 5 nowadays takes like two seconds to load. As opposed to like on the 360, you used to like go make dinner and like watch a show or something. And then by the time you come back, then you finally like load into the game. Or you get that error message saying that, you know, the servers failed or whatever. And then you just like, you know, throw your Xbox out the window. But yeah, these are just some of my thoughts on the uh, GTA 6 trailer that are not a shit post this time. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, if you find this interesting, I'd appreciate if you drop a like or something. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.